Okay, so here is a very quick lesson on special triangles. Okay, so basically you have two kinds of special triangles. Okay, your first one is a 45, 45, 90. Okay, so if I draw a 45, 45, 90 triangle, I think you can really quickly realize if this angle is 45, and this angle here is 45, that this side length is the same as the other leg. Okay, so what we're trying to do is figure out the relationship between those two legs and the hypotenuse. Okay, so let's pretend that we have a triangle um, and this side length is 2. Okay, so again we got a 45, 45. So this um, side length right here would be 2. So how do we find the hypotenuse? Okay, well hopefully you're saying Pythagorean's theorem. We got to do a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay, so remember c squared has always got to be the hypotenuse, the longest leg of the triangle, and this only works for right triangles. Okay, so if I just quickly do a Pythagorean theorem here, I would have 2 squared plus 2 squared is equal to my y. So 4 plus 4 is 8, and I would square root that. So if I break down the square root of 8, um, I would have to break it apart and say uh, what perfect square number multiplies to 8? 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And the square root of 4 is 2. Okay, so this hypotenuse leg is 2 square roots of 2. Okay, so maybe you don't see a relationship yet. Let's try another one. So let's say, let's make it really easy. Let's make... Uh, the side length this time be 1. Okay, so if this side is 1, then my other leg has to also be 1. So what would my hypotenuse be? Okay, well, 1 squared plus 1 squared is equal to y squared. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have to square root it. So the y is equal to the square root of 2. Hmm. So can you see a relationship between the legs of a 45-45 and its hypotenuse yet? Hmm. Maybe they both have a square root of 2. Should we do one more? Okay, let's say we have... Uh, let's try 3. So if this one is 3, my other leg's got to be 3. So if my hypotenuse is my y again, 3 squared plus 3 squared is equal to y squared. So 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. Okay, we got to break the square root of 18. So a perfect square number multiplies to 18. Uh, 9 times 2. So the square root of 9 is 3. So my hypotenuse length is 3. So hopefully at this point you go, oh, you just have to multiply by the square root of 2. Okay. So that means the proportionality of any 45 45 triangle is if I have a length of x, and this one is a length of x, my hypotenuse will always be x times the square root of 2. Okay, so that's your basically your relationship that you can use, and now you can use that little trick to quickly solve these other triangles. Okay, so if I was going to do question number one, 
um, my short leg is two, so B would have to be two, and my hypotenuse would just be two times the square root of two, and I will leave it that way. Don't try to put it in dense decimal form. It's nicer to use just radicals. Okay, so um, this one would be 45, 45, well my leg is six, so my end length is six, and so M is six times the square root of two. Okay, so let's make it harder. Let's go, they give us the hypotenuse. So if I'm now going from a long leg to a shorter leg, what am I gonna have to do mathematically to get to a shorter leg? Okay, to get to a longer leg, we multiplied. So to get to a shorter leg, we have to divide. Okay, so we're gonna take um, the amount, so two squares of two, and to get to x or y, we have to divide by the square root of two. So square root of two over two, cancels out and your x length is 2, so therefore my y length must be 2. Okay, if I do this on my question number 4, what am I dividing by? I have to divide by the square root of 2. So they give me a square root of 3, that was kind of mean. Okay, divide by square root of 2. So technically, I couldn't really simplify this other than the fact that you cannot leave a radical in the bottom, so I have to rationalize it. So to rationalize the denominator, you multiply by the square root of 2. So on the top, we're multiplying insides together and outsides together. So I have a 2 on the outside. On the inside, I have a square root of 6. On the bottom, I'd have a square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is the square root of 4, which makes 2. Ah, okay, we got a 2 over 2, so my a value is the square root of 6. So b value, the square root of 6. Cool. Okay, so 45, 45's, not too shabby. So your other special right triangle is uh, 30, 60, 90. Okay, so 30, 60, 90 have the same type of proportionality, but the ratios are different, okay? The number of, the number that you're multiplying by. Okay, so if this is a 30, 60, 90, so my long leg would have to be opposite of the bigger angle. So this would be 30. Okay, so um, the proof behind this is the exact same proof that I was just showing you before. If you do a Pythagorean theorem, you've come up with these ratios. So I'm just going to spill the beans here and tell you that on a 30, 60, 90, you always start with the shortest side. So I'm going to call that X. So the hypotenuse is always going to be, wait for it, twice the length of its shortest side. The long leg, however, if we do a Pythagorean's theorem, will be X times the square root of 3. So I always remember the square root of 3 because um, if you think about the 30, 60, 90, those are all multiples of 3. So I remember the long leg is a square root of 3. Um, so that's how I remember that. Um, okay, so quick examples. Um, okay, so let's say they start by giving you uh, the shortest side. So let's say the shortest side is 2. Okay, so if I was going to find the hypotenuse, I just would take that and I would multiply by 2. So 2 times 2 makes 4. My longer leg, I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3. So 2 times the square root of 3 is 2 square root of 3. Okay, so it's always easiest to start from your shortest side. So, um, let's say this time they give us a hypotenuse. Okay, so we still got our same triangle here. Let's say hypotenuse is 10. Okay, so always find your easiest one first. What's going to be the easiest side to find? Okay, your short leg is going to be the easiest because it's going to be half as big, right? So half of 10 is 5. So once I know my short leg, I can go to my hypotenuse, so it's going to be times the square root of 3, so 5 square roots of 3. 
Okay, so it's always nice when they have nice numbers like that. Let's see what our little worksheet has. Um, okay, so number five. That's basically what we did. just did. They give us the hypotenuse. So my short leg is going to be half. So my half is one. Then I go to my long leg. So to go to the long leg, one times the square root of three is one square root of three or the square root of three. Um, let's try a harder one. Okay, so this one they give us a long leg. Okay, so same thing, I wanna to go to my short one. So to go to the shorter leg, I'm gonna divide by the square root of three. So for V, we're gonna take the side length and divide by the square root of three. So for this one, our V length is two. So now when I have my short leg, I can go to the hypotenuse. So my long leg, or my longest leg, is twice as big. So four. Um, let's say they do, okay, let's try one with nasty numbers, I guess. Okay, so this one, uh, they give us the shortest side, which is nice. So I can quickly go to the hypotenuse. So to get to hypotenuse, I'm multiplying by two. So I'm going to take two times 10 squared to three over two. So remember when you multiply a fraction, you just multiply the tops together. So this is a multiply outsides together. So that's going to just be 20 squared to 3 over 3, and that does not reduce, so that's your x length. Um, to go to the long leg, I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3. So this is going to be the square root of 3 times 10 square root of 3 over 3. So if I multiply insides, the square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 9. Square root of 9 makes 3. I'm just going to leave this separated because the 3's cancel. So my long leg turns into a nice 10. Okay, so hopefully that kind of gets you where you need to be with the special right triangles. Um, one of the toughest questions I saw in the Khan Academy was this question right here. Um, so this is the question where... Carol is biking, so basically she starts here, she bikes one mile to the east, then four straight north, and then five um, to the east. So you're trying to find that diagonal length, the total distance. So this is actually quite a simple question. If you just break this triangle up differently, what you want to do is you want to extend this and then drop this leg. So now what I have is a right triangle. What's this length right here? Okay, so if this is five, this length right here is one. This entire length from here to here is now six. And this length right here, my side length is four. If I'm trying to find the hypotenuse of a right triangle, how would I go about doing that? Okay, that is a Pythagorean theorem question. So to find this distance, I'm gonna call it D. All you're doing is six squared plus four squared is equal to your d squared. So I'm gonna leave it there. That should help you on that tough question. Otherwise, I think you should be good to go.